Through the history of our country, veterans typically come home from the wars that they fought in, and they contribute to society in any number of ways. Hi, my name is Andrea Edwards. My spouse, Cody, was in the Air Force. He served for four years, and we met while he was still in the military. What are some qualities they developed in the military that you admire and are grateful for? Since being in the military that I admire, and to start off with my papa, he just turned 93 at the beginning of September, and he is the most disciplined person I know. He still gets on his elliptical, and he walks, and he runs, and he makes sure um, he takes care of himself, and to be in that healthy of condition and to have the discipline to still work out, still get up early, um, and dedicate time to his peace and his mind is something I truly admire. I think a lot of the quality qualities that the military gave my husband are some of the reasons I fell in love with him. So he's really um, organized and respectful. And then my dad, he is a director at the VA office here in Chicago. And a huge thing I learned from him is that in the military, typically you have to be very timely, uh, very put together, um, and just sleek, making sure that you always look up to par. He's diligent on being on time for things, and um, he's just really good at thinking of others and not putting himself first because you always had to think in terms of a unit. How has their service influenced your family's outlook on the importance of supporting veterans? Having a husband who is in the military has really had me meet more military families and veterans and understand that your whole life in the military is governed by where the military wants you to be, what job it wants you to have, um, when it wants you to start, and you don't get much control over any of that, so you're really at their mercy the entire time. And that goes for your children and your spouse as well. They um, have to switch schools a lot. They may have to switch jobs often. So after the military, that can be a big adjustment for the entire family, but especially for the person who served in the military, that can be a huge adjustment on um, if they had any injuries afterwards, if they have any mental illness from the military, like PTSD. And for many people, they struggle to find jobs after the military. They have a hard time figuring out how to convert their experience of the military into a um, job in the civilian world. And so that can be a really big challenge that these families are facing. And to make sure that you're never judging anybody and then everybody has a story. So always be compassionate and loving towards others. Um, so shout out to our veterans. Thank you so much for all that you do. Hey friends, it's Nick Black. Coming to you out of Chicago, I am an LSS enterprise sales leader. What inspired you to serve in the military? It was something I always wanted to do. Both of my grandfathers were in the service, and I always admired that. I joined the Marine Corps because both of my parents were Chicago police officers. They're now both retired, but growing up, that's all I saw. Chicago police everywhere, and um, that's what I wanted to be. And so I joined the Marine Corps to uh, well position myself when I had come out. Can you share a memorable moment from your time in the service? There are lots so it's hard to boil it down to one. The best part is the people. I served with some amazing Marines and made lifelong friendships in my four years. So my most memorable was being frocked to captain. And being frocked to captain means they allow you to pin on and wear the captain insignia um, while your date catches up to you to when you're actually promoted. What advice would you give to the younger generation about serving their country? Absolutely do it. Four years goes by really fast, and there are tons of benefits for veterans. The best move that I made in my life, it's changed um, the, my trajectory, the discipline, the camaraderie, the uh, love and passion for everyone to succeed. And uh, I exemplify that day in and day out with my team and with myself and with my family. What are you most proud of from your time in the military? I was fortunate enough to deploy a few times to Iraq and Afghanistan. Both were life-changing experiences that have had a huge impact on who I am today. Transferring from Okinawa, Japan, back stateside to Paris Island. And um, at Paris Island, I was a series commander and I interviewed for company commander. I was a first lieutenant interviewing for a company commander role, which means I would be responsible for 400 Marines, men and women, their lives 24 seven. And it was just amazing. 400 Marines every single day, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. This is 24 seven. 
As we come to the end of our journey through the stories of our veterans, let us take a moment to reflect on the profound impact they have had on our lives. LinkedIn for Veterans.